box okay we are going to create um, the the border for the for the cover and to do that it depends on how wide i want my cover to be we're going to do something like this now for our board okay so it depends on how wide you want it to be it could be smaller and it can be bigger so it depends on what you want this is uh, let me check it. it should be about this is two inch wide so we are going to take our measurements we're going to take three inch wide you know why we are taking these three inches the reason is we are really folding some part of it okay so we need to consider that too if i want my cover to be smaller than the one i just showed you i may take a um, two and then bend on um, folding half okay so for this I, I i'll take two and a half so that we don't have it too big i'll take two and a half folding half Now, this may not go around our board. Let me just show you what I mean. As you can see, it's not wide enough to go around. So we may need to add extra, extra to cover up. So I'm going to use this same one to cut another one for that extension. So we are going to bend in, fold in our half. This is two and a half. The whole length of this is width is two and a half. So we are going to take in the half, take out the half, and that is what we are going to fold in. So I'm going to use my hand. My ruler is helping me to, it's giving me a support. And it's helping me to get a sharp fold, okay? So you just do this to the end. So this is what you have. Okay? So I'm going to use my hand to, to press it down. Okay? This is what it looks like now. I'm going to do the same to the extra one. The next thing we're going to do is to create in such in, this this is our half fold okay this is our half fold we are going to make a v kind of insertion on it that means you cut from one end from this end in a slanted way as if you want to create a v on it make sure you are not cutting through this fold so you come back you are showing all the space you keep doing this until you get to the end make sure you don't cut through your fold ready you can see we have created the insertion from one end to the other so you have this kind of zigzag look in out in out kind of uh, look so the next thing we're not going to use candle gum to attach this we are going to use a top bond or uhu gum okay but i'm going to use a top bond for this i'm going to 
attach um, rub apply my top bone around it this was where we drew our line you don't want this place to be the outside I mean the top of it so we're going to just make this part the inside I'm applying my top bone round just around where the fold is going to lap now that we have applied our top bond round it I'm going to fold this round it can you see what I'm doing I'll place it round and then I'm watching my edge to ensure that it's not so outside. Can you see? I'm using my hand to guide it. One hand inside, the other one outside. The one inside is pressing it down while the outer one is guiding, guiding it round to ensure that we don't have it uh, pushing out so much we want it to lap neatly so just keep folding now the insertion you made around the the your what you call it now your cover extra you, you can see the first um, with, to finish up our extension we need to add extra and to do that I'm just going to apply glue here and then I bend it and attach it neatly from inside using the same process to finish it up so I'm going to cut out the extra apply some glue here see the finishing that it needs have our cover ready it's perfect it's not too big and you can see it's free can you see it's free so this is the finished project we are going to attach our ribbon so attaching the ribbon you may do the crisscrossing method that means you cross from one end to the other so at the bottom you have this kind of intercession okay but for, I, I I realize that is waste of ribbon okay so what I do is I turn my board this way and attach the, the ribbon on each side and that way when when you that way when you remove your acetate you have the ribbon there attached you are not struggling to connect it anymore so for me this is this is easier and even faster easier and more convenient 
so i'm going to apply my glue and then i attach my ribbon i'll check the length add my glue and then i attach the ribbon to it now our height is 10 inch isn't it so we need to ensure that we have enough length that can give us a, a nice wrap take what you do you should you measure if your ribbon is 10 you need to measure 20 20 okay this is 24 24 this is 24 and you need to do 25 okay we have a ribbon connected on four sides they may not all necessarily be the same length so we have it long enough to give us that extra convergence. We went one side, cross the other side, tie. Sometimes I like my fold, my joining to be under the ribbon. Okay? This is where I have a fold, a joining. So I want it to just be the ribbon to be on top. Sometimes it's better if you have your board complementing, uh, matching with your the color of your ribbon. Okay, so we've come to the end of this. I'm going to show you with this method you can do acetate of different sizes. All you need to do is to know the measurement, understand the measurement of the board, and cut your acetate into that size. Remember. The acetate sheets will likely not go around your board. That means you need to join it at a point. When doing that, ensure that it needs joining. Okay?